Today we are going to finish our Philippine President's Family Tree. As you recall, in our previous discussion, in part one of this episode, we were able to connect President Emilio Aguinaldo with Ramon Magsaysay, Vice President Mariano Trias, Prime Minister Cesar Virata, with the Corazon Aquino and her son, President Benigno Aquino III, and if we go up, connected it with the Romualdez family, allowing us to connect with Vice President Teofisto Gingona Jr., with Imelda Romualdez, and connecting us to President Ferdinand Marcos, thereby connecting us also with President Fidel Valdez Ramos. And finally, through the Romualdez family as well, we were able to connect our family tree with President Elpidio Quirino. Now, for our discussion today, we are going to pick up where we left off and connect our family tree with the remaining presidents of the Philippines, starting with the son of President Ramon Magsaysay, Senator Ramon Magsaysay Jr. So let us continue with our president's family tree with the son of President Ramon Magsaysay. Now, his son and namesake, Ramon Magsaysay Jr., was a senator of the Philippines. His marriage into the Santa Maria family connected him with the Laurel family, one member of whom was former vice president Salvador Laurel. Uh, he was the eighth vice president of the Philippines under the presidency of Corazon Aquino. His father, Jose P. Laurel, was the third president of the Philippines. Now, as we all remember, Jose P. Laurel was president of the Philippines during the Japanese occupation. If we go down further and if we remember uh, there was a connection here to his father and the Aguinaldos, the Cojuancos, and the Aquinos. Until we connect with the Marcoses uh, and reach President Ferdinand Marcos. Now, if we remember, President Ferdinand Marcos's eldest child, uh, Aimee Marcos, was married to Tommy Manotok, whose mother was Nena Lao. Nena Lao's sister was... Conchita, or Chita Lao, who was the wife of Eugenio Lopez Jr. Eugenio Lopez Jr.'s father, Eugenio Lopez Sr., was the brother of former Vice President Fernando H. Lopez, who served two terms as Vice President, first uh, as the third Vice President of the Philippines from 1949 to 53, and then later as the seventh Vice President of the Philippines, from 1965 to 1972. The son of Eugenio Lopez Jr. was Manuel Lopez, whose son, Manuel Beaver Lopez, married Jackie Ejercito, daughter of President Joseph Ejercito Estrada, 13th President of the Philippines. Now, his term, as we remember, was cut short because of the what is now known as the People Power II. Before serving president, he was also the 10th Vice President of the Philippines under President Fidel Valdez Ramos. If we go back to the Laos and go one generation higher to the mother of Nena and Chita Lao, who was Pasita Argueles, we can connect our family tree further with the uh, Buen Caminos, who married into the Quezon family. Now, Felipe Buen Camino III's wife was Zenaida Quezon, and Zenaida Quezon's parents were President Manuel L. Quezon, the second president of the Philippines, and the first lady Aurora Aragon Quezon. Further into the Lao family, if we recall, uh, Nena Lao was the mother-in-law of Aimee Marcos. Aimee Marcos' siblings were Irene Marcos and Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Now, both 
Irene and Bongbong married into the Araneta family. And uh, the Araneta family is what we call a gateway family. It means if you marry into this family, you are assured of a connection to almost all political personalities in the Philippines. Now, if we trace the family tree of the husband of Irene Marcos, for instance, we can further connect our family tree with the rest of the Aranetas. The wife of Bongbong Marcos, uh, Lisa Araneta, is closely related to Judy Araneta. Now, Judy Araneta is the wife of former Senator Gerardo Jerry Rojas, whose father was President Manuel Acuna Rojas, the fifth president of the Philippines who served from 1946 to 1948. Our connection also with the Rojases, if we go back to a son of Manuel Rojas, his namesake Manuel Rojas, was married into the affluent Rufino family. And by this connection, we can go down and connect our family tree with Pedro Paterno, the second prime minister of the Philippines, uh, who served in 1899. Now, uh, history also calls Pedro Paterno as the first Balimbing. Uh, or the first turncoat because all throughout his political career, Pedro Paterno would usually side with uh, who was in power at that time. Further into our family tree, we can also connect with the Rojases and trace this up to Arturo Tolentino who was vice president also of the Philippines. Then let's go back up until we are able to connect our family tree with another Araneta descendant who was Jose Miguel Arroyo, the first, first gentleman of the Philippines. As we know, uh, Jose Miguel Arroyo is the husband of former president Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, 14th president of the Philippines, 10th president, Vice President of the Philippines and the first female Speaker of the House of Representatives. Now, if we trace the family now and, and move on to another line, which uh, is the Makapagal family, we can see that through the father of President Gloria Arroyo, uh, President Josdado Makapagal, who is the ninth president of the Philippines, uh, if we connect the tree to his first wife, Porita de la Rosa, we can connect our family tree further to President Sergio Osmeña, the fourth president of the Philippines and the first vice president as well. His marriage uh, to Estefania Chong Veloso, who was his first wife, would connect us with the Chong Velosos, thereby connecting us with this line that will take us to Vice President Emmanuel and Pelaez. If we go back to the family tree up further and now connect with Esperanza Limhap, the second wife of Sergio Osmeña, we can connect our family tree further with the Rizal family. A sister of Esperanza Limhap married a son of Olympia Rizal. As we remember, Olympia Rizal was a sister of Philippine national hero Jose Protasio Rizal. Another sister of Jose Rizal was Maria Rizal. And when we trace down her family tree, we get connected with Gemma Cruz Araneta, who was a former beauty queen, uh, Miss International, and also served as Secretary of Tourism under President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. Now, we are also connected again with the Aranetas because of Gemma Cruz's marriage to Antonio Sebastian Araneta. If we go back up to the mother of Gemma Cruz Araneta, Carmen Guerrero Nacpil, 
we can connect our family tree with the Nakpils of Manila. Nakpil, going up, we can connect it with Julio Nakpil, who was the composer of the Philippine National Anthem. Julio Nakpil was married to Gregoria de Jesus. Uh, he was the second husband of Gregoria de Jesus. Uh, and Gregoria de Jesus' first husband was Andres Bonifacio, founder of the Katipunan. If we go and trace up to the family tree of Gregoria de Jesus, we know that she was a descendant of the Alvarez family. And if we take it down, we can see that one of the Alvarez's cousins of Gregoria was a Leonardo Alvarez. Leonardo Alvarez was the second wife of Facundo Duterte. Uh, and with his first wife, Facundo's son was Vicente Duterte, who served as the last governor of United Davao region and who is the father of the current president of the Philippines, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. If we look at the Alvarez family tree further, we can connect this tree to Pasita Toralba, who was the wife of first wife of Manuel Noli de Castro. Vice President of the Philippines under Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Now, if we also take a look at the family tree further, we can see that the family tree is also connected with through the Duterte line, we can connect with Beatriz Duterte, who married into the Durano family. The Durano family married into the Almendras, which married into the Dimataga family, itself connecting us with President Carlos P. Garcia, the second Bisaya president of the Philippines after President Sergio Osmeña. Now, uh, Carlos P. Garcia also served as the fourth vice president of the Philippines. And finally, if we are to trace the family tree of the Nakpils, we can also trace the family tree to Abigail Binay, daughter of former Vice President, the 13th Vice President of the Philippines, Jajomar Binay, uh, whose daughter Abigail married Luis Jose Campos, who was a son of uh, Nakpil. Uh, who was connected to the Julio Nakpil family. And so there we have it. Uh, this is the entire family tree now of all our Philippine presidents and some other personalities that we have met along the way. Uh, this is the Philippine President's Family Tree a project. This is a, a collaboration between the Filipino Genealogy Project and the Pinoy Charts Project. Uh, as I said earlier, the chart was also drawn by a good friend of mine, Mr. Ambida. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, second part of our discussion of the Philippine uh, President's Family Tree. If you want to read further, you can visit our website at www.filipinogenealogy.com and look for the article RP Politics a Family Affair. Uh, I will also post the, the link to the original article to this discussion under this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again in my next videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.